So let's uh, talk now about the former President Trump, who is about to hold his first public event since the second attempt on his life, a town hall in Battleground, Michigan. Today, the former president, Mar-a-Lago, uh, took the time to go out and meet with the sheriff's deputies from Martin County, Florida, who took the suspect into custody after that latest attempt. He shook hands with them and thanked them for the work that they did on the ground. Um, nice moment uh, between them. I'm sure they were very proud to... Uh, be recognized in that way by the former president. Let's bring in Trump 2024 senior advisor Alina Haba. Alina, always good to have you with us. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, you know, your thoughts as as this campaign moves forward, and and I think that um, it it doesn't. I mean, it needs to be said that there's not been any suggestion by President Trump that he wants to rein it in, that he's worried, that he wants to change anything about his lifestyle or about his way of campaigning in the face of this. I think most normal people would be afraid, but he doesn't appear to be. No, he's not. That's exactly why he was the president. That's exactly why we need him to be the president. The man has no fear in the face of opposition. He is absolutely uh, determined to save this country. If anybody ever had any doubt, this is just the proof that you will never get out of any debate, out of any speech, out of any rally. This is who the man is. He was off the course and cared more about whether his friend Steve Witkoff was okay than himself. Grateful and gr and gratuitous, as we just saw at Mar-a-Lago today with the Palm Beach Police Department, who he admires. And no, he is completely unrelenting. He will go out there to Today and do the same thing he has always done because he is so determined to save this country, even when it means risking his life not once but twice, and that's all that we know of. Um, so yeah. you know him, Martha. That's who the man is. He is just the strongest, fiercest fighter that America could ask for. So what you're hearing from the other side is um, that the rhetoric needs to come down. This is Hillary Clinton. She has a book coming out, so she's making the rounds. Uh, she was on the Rachel Maddow show uh, last night. Let's watch. I don't understand why it's so difficult for the press to have a consistent narrative about how dangerous uh, Trump is, his demagoguery, his uh, danger to our country and the world, and stick with it. We can't go back and give uh, this very dangerous man uh, another chance to do harm uh, to our country and the world. Uh, thoughts on, on the discussion around rhetoric that's happening right now, Alina? That rhetoric itself is what they would call an insurrectionist or insurrectionist language. If President Trump did it, if I did it, or if anybody on the Republican side did it, that language that Hillary Clinton used is a disgrace. The language that you look at, Kamala Harris and her team saying that he's a threat to democracy is the reason we have people believing they can be weaponized, truly weaponized, not weaponized as in the legal system, weaponized as in AR-15s outside his golf club and a smile on their face when they get caught after trying to assassinate a former and likely future president. The language and the rhetoric, Martha, comes from the left. And the fact that Hillary Clinton is so brazen to plead with the media to help the rhetoric be more uh, aggressive towards a man who just had two attempts on his life. She should go pray. You know what? I'm going to pray for her because that is the most disturbing thing I have ever seen. In terms of, you know, lifestyle change and what may, may or may not happen, here's some suggestions this morning from Joe Scarborough on Morning Show Watch. Why is the Secret Service even letting him go out on golf courses? Because, again, a lot of golf courses are tucked away. These Trump courses are on, are on busy roads. There are also real security concerns, uh, particularly at this course here, which is West Palm Beach. They can't stop him from what he wants to do, but their ability to protect him goes down right. uh, in a massive sprawling golf course. Um, you know, I mean, many presidents play golf to unwind. We know that they all have very intense schedules. And as I keep saying, this is a place, and I know you know very well uh, from being there, that he plays that very often, right? So I, I can't figure out why these holes haven't been fixed by the Secret Service, given the fact that he goes out there all the time. 
I think that that's a good question. I will say that I know the Secret Service that I deal with, that President Trump is surrounded by, are the ones that saved him yesterday. So I am very careful about making generalized comments. What I do believe is that there needs to be a true assessment. And the comment that was made at the press conference yesterday, that he is not a current president um, and therefore is not afforded the same uh, protections that maybe Joe Biden is while he sits in Rehoboth Beach on the beach falling asleep with his ice cream. Well, you know what? President Trump's doing more for this country right now than any president, any VP that I know. And and that includes the sitting president. And when we have two attempts right. on any president's life, we have to protect those people. Well, there's a very elevated threat against him. That's clear. Um, two people have tried to kill him already. Yeah. And we need to um, make this a more secure environment. Thank you, Alina. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.